Welcome, your war chief is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's PBE, and you lovely people are more than welcome to call me peeps. Today, we are wrapping up our series with the last look of 8.3 and looking at how we saw the expansion. If you want to catch up on the last video, I'll link that up here somewhere. Here, we can actually see the decline of Battle for Azeroth and where exactly it went wrong. Check it out. So today, we're going to answer the question that is on everyone's mind. Was BFA the worst expansion? Using this as a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Before we get into that though, you can catch me going through this stuff live. Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30pm Eastern on twitch.tv slash pbe. We like to spice up Thursdays with a little bit of a variety game. Sometimes it's Warcraft as well because, well, can't help it. Love the game. We also do sneaky streams in between, so if that's your thing, come on down and say hi. If you like World of Warcraft content and you like looking at the lore, I implore you to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you get notifications on all my upcoming videos. Alright. Let's get into it. The Tentacle Overlord. So quick disclaimer here, and it's the same disclaimer I'm sure you've heard before. I played through this story as Alliance. So I don't know the Horde's point of view. But that means I did get that juicy intro to 8.3. Where Anduin punches baby Deathwing in the face! I'm sorry. It was stronger than me. I couldn't help myself. That is probably one of the best quest lines in the game. Fight me. But the good times pretty much end there, story-wise. And yes, I'm aware that the horrific visions, the minor visions, whatever the hell you call them, and the raid are awesome content, truly. We're looking at it on a strictly storyline basis. Now, although the visions are fun, and revisiting some of these old zones are also fun, the storylines that go with them are small, and honestly, they feel like they were thrown together just to give you an excuse to go visit those areas. It felt rushed, it felt forced, it... There was nothing organic there. And yes, we will address the elephant in the room. That end cinematic. Oh boy. Now, I'm okay with the visuals of the cinematic. I'm okay with your character delivering the epic kill shot with your heart of Azeroth. I, I can believe that. What I'm not okay with is this is how an expansion is ending. It has no true ending. I, I mean, Taliesin and Evatel covered this much better than I ever could. I will link their video down below in the description, so please go check them out. They are awesome. Like, swear word, awesome. They basically sum up. The actual cinematic for the end raid was good. However, it felt like it was only half. We got an end of a raid. We didn't get the end of an expansion. We didn't get a conclusion to any of the storylines in BFA. We are left in the dark. To me, it's all fine, but we're missing half the damn story. Again, Rushed as hell. We pushed it out the door to get the shitty expansion over with. I consider this the equivalent of the eighth season of Game of Thrones. Yeah, I went there. It is forced, pushed, throw an entire storyline out the door. No thinking, no thought. Bitch, bye bye There is a theory that was shown with some data mining that 8.35 was a thing but was scrapped to end the expansion early. And based on how rushed this is, I believe it. Let's go a step further. Nihilotha and Nazoth could have been its own expansion. Can you imagine if we would have cut BFA at Sylvanas's whatever the fuck that was, and we went into Shadowlands, came back, and saw Azeroth lost to this nightmarish realm. You'd have like Nihilotha as your leveling area. You'd have ancient and old raids and dungeons corrupted by nightmares. It could have been good. Blizz, hire me. I'm 
kidding. I'm kidding. So for comparison, this was a Draenor level stunt where we cut an expansion down because it wasn't doing very well to move on to something else. And now we've got a Cataclysm level stunt where we've got a raid that's almost going to last us 10 months. That's what they're predicting. No additional content, no additional story. I really hope you like those visions. Looking back. Looking back at the expansion as a whole, we had some amazing leveling zones, which we will cover in other videos, one at a time as you're used to seeing. A decent 8.1 that was pretty enjoyable. An 8.2 that was shady as shit. And an 8.3 that we're probably never gonna wanna talk about again. I'm also going to admit that Battle for Azeroth had the least amount of dungeons as per any expansion, and all of the dungeons were story-based dungeons. So they were the end of a quest line, which I, I don't mind a few, all of them. Whatever happened to having their own storyline in these instances, like Dead Mines, Scholomance. Oh wait, the writing sucked, that's why. And story-wise, I know this is, we're beating a dead horse at this point. It sucked. It wasn't great. But was it the worst? Prior to BFA, the worst two expansions that many people agree on is Cataclysm and Draenor. Familiar? Well, let's break them down. Cataclysm suffered hard from developer time used to rebuild Classics leveling experience. Credit where credit is due, they did a fantastic job. They rebuilt the world, rebuilt the quest lines to make sense in this new era, and it was fantastic. However, Cataclysm's storyline was vague, confusing, mixed up. It also included arguably the worst leveling zone in the history of leveling zones, Vashir. Really, an underwater zone. You guys really thought that would work? But hey, at least it had an ending. <clears throat> PFA. Excuse me, a little cough there. And Draenor had some pretty good leveling zones, but it got muddy with that like dual timeline thing. Well, I'm gonna admit, I, did t I didn't hate Draenor, but one thing was clear and it was crystal clear. They cut it short. Blizzard has even come forward and admit that they cut it short because it was poorly performing. They cut out a final raid, leaving players even more confused and more muddy than they first walked in. But players today will admit that this was the right move to do. Because from the ashes rose the phoenix. Legion was born and that expansion was fantastic. It was great. It had everything you wanted. Yeah, there was a few systems that sucked, but you hardly remember them because of how good that expansion was. And for you lore masters out there, Suramar, need I say more? So comparing BFA to Kata, both expansions suffered heavily from poor storytelling. But when you put both side by side, in my opinion, Cataclysm still sits as the worst. Only by a bit. But Cataclysm's poor storytelling and lack of love was unforgivable in my opinion. And although BFA is bad, I want to admit that it is. It's not Cata bad. I can't believe that's the standard. Are you worse than Cataclysm? I said this in my last video and I'll say it again. I love World of Warcraft. Truly. I really hope Shadowlands pulls the Legion. World of Warcraft needs that win. So, do you agree with me? Disagree? Go ahead, leave that down in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you like this video, this series, go ahead, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, just kidding. Go ahead, be honest with me. Let me know, downvote it. I wanna know where I can improve. Of course, right, don't we all? If you want to see me going through these zones live, Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash And again, Thursdays is a variety game, but sometimes we play WoW too. And sometimes we stream a little more. Why not? If you like me and you want to see more Warcraft lore like this, hit that subscribe button. 
while you're down there, ring that bell. And look, this series was a little rough on the head. You want to see something more positive? I'm going to throw up a well-rated zone up here. Let's get back to World of Warcraft's awesome places. I love you all so much, and I appreciate you stopping in. Thanks again, and I can't wait to see you again on the next one. Or live. Bye! Shadowlands, please, please be good. Please, please, pretty please.